Hola, como estas? And thank you to my viewers watching out of Argentina. This is Zigzag Zag coming to you from Western Kentucky, continuing our playthrough of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen, featuring the wonderful War of the Chosen, or Long War of the Chosen mod. Um, we have ahead of us Operation Winter Hand and a light mission, so a little heavier than we're used to, but not unduly difficult, hopefully. <laughs> we'll find out. And we're here to hack a hidden resistance computer. So uh, let's take a look at the squad we're taking out. And due to a slightly elevated uh, enemy force level, we took a couple extra recruits with us. And starting off uh, the list is Reginald Broccoli Barkley as our ranger. We also brought along Q as our technical to give us a little explosive firepower. He is equipped with the Gauntlet Mark II. And he has a promotion coming up and as a matter of fact I'm trying to remember if this, this might be our first gunnery sergeant promotion or maybe we already had one I, I just can't remember but it's fun to get up to this level uh, what we're gonna do I think we're gonna go with salvo launching or throwing grenades or using heavy weapons etc or the gauntlets rocket launcher with your first action will not end your turn so we're gonna take a little peek at using salvo and see if we can deal extra damage that way by being able to use it and still have actions available. Uh, Gordy Visor LaForge is along as our Shinobi. We have some sneaky sneak power with a Shinobi and a Reaper on this mission, but Gordy LaForge also has a promotion ahead of him. Uh, let's jump in here, the rank of Tech Sergeant, and uh, we're going to go, we're going to try the old Reaper promotion on this one. Uh, it's a chain melee attack where the first melee attack cannot miss, and then each melee kill in Reaper mode grants an extra action. But any further melee attacks have reduced damage. We're going to give that a shot. The idea of potentially having some chain melee uh, action going on appeals to me. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? Keith, Caretaker Merle is long as our gunner. He does have a mag cannon with him. Uh, Giorgio Stiletto Tsolakoglu is along with, let's see, Reaper Armor, Vector Rifle, Talon Rounds. So he, he's buffed up a, a little bit as far as we can get him at this point. Trevor T-Bone Hertz is along as uh, our Grenadier. He does have the Advanced Grenade Launcher, although just a regular laser rifle. And uh, as the sharpshooter to protect us on this mission, we have Nikolai Crazy Ars Carpathia, and he is up for a promotion also. So let's get in here and see what we can give him. Um, we have Precision Shot, which I like. High Def Hollow. Um, I may at some point, if we, you know, if we had picked up and gone the rapid targeting bit, I might have focused more on that. But we're going to go with Lone Wolf. Uh, my sharpshooters, I've said before, I don't often seem to have them as lone wolfy as I do in the original Long War, but lately I've been finding this to be more possible than I probably originally estimated. And we're going to go with Lone Wolf for that consistent gain, 10 aim, and 10 defense when 7 or more tiles from an ally. Precision shot is nice, but 3 turn cooldown, you can only use it so often. Lone Wolf, we can take advantage of potentially every turn. And finally, Destiny Idemili Etico. We are along as the specialist. You have no big upgrades because you basically are practically a rookie. You got your first promotion to become a specialist, so we're trying to give you a little experience to help out on this mission. You have some good protection, so hopefully we can keep you protected and at the same time get you promoted. Okay, that's it. Let's go find out exactly where in New Australia we're headed to. So the tunnels, of course, we should have expected tunnels. Uh, when we have this kind of a mission, a high percentage of them are taking place in the tunnels. Uh, but let's get out there and hack this workstation in Brisbane, Australia. Menace 1 5, this is Avenger. The access point we're after is just ahead. Move to secure the area. Expect hostile resistance. 
All right, usually it's about a 10 turn timer. We got a bonus turn at 11 turns. Let's go take a look at where we got to go right here on the barrels. We've got some high ground on either side, not that we'll see if the enemy decides to be the one to use it. Um, we're off to the right, I'm thinking. How wide do we have? Well, it's not that wide of a map. Tunnels never really, never really are. So we're just going to continue up the right, I believe. Let's get one of my sneaky ass yeah, stiletto. You're not a bad one to lead off the way. My life is in your hands. I've spotted an alien patrol. Yeah, we have an early, early bit of contact potentially here. Uh, we got to see, do we have a, what kind of cover? Do we have a fair amount of cover here? Or if we went on the interior route, um, what kind of cover? There's probably a doorway here. Um, we may send some through the door and others staying on the outside. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. How far forward do I want to push you to keep an eye on these guys? They're moving straight back. Would they flank you there? Good question. We're gonna give it a shot. I go where we'll you have some me. other support up there. Should that happen? Um, Nikolai, we're gonna get you in a nice sniper position back here. In case all heck breaks loose. Let's see if we can't get a peek through here because I want to see if action over on this side is going to pop another pod or not. So let's take a peek over here with uh, our Shinobi. Understood, Commander. We're on our way. And the room on the inside here seems a little uh, activity free. So that's nice to know that if we should engage on this side, it could be just them and it may be oh this is the this is a dead end so they will i wish i had noticed that earlier this is a dead end apparently and they will be wandering back the question is will they go through that door opening or will they come here and pop against our reaper we'll find out soon enough let's get some other potential help down this way let's get you up here That's might not be bad to have an option for in fact we're gonna dash you we won't need to have you on overwatch necessarily oh yes 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 and destiny we do have a mech in the mix so let's get you up here just in case we can give you a shot at that of thinking t-bone i'm going to give you some flexibility in, in case they move through the door to give you kind of flexibility to go back and forth with your grenade moving out and finally reginald barkley where can we park you to maybe get some shots available just in case i want to have a couple at least on overwatch in case they do wander far enough uh, to expose Stiletto, we'll find out. So let's overwatch here. Uh, Nikolai, I think we're just going to steady you. And we'll do another overwatch. Roger. I've got let's my see eyes how on. they wander. Didn't quite go through. They didn't wander as far as I thought they might. Um, that's for sure. But we can definitely get ourselves uh, set up some more. We got some soldiers that can have some reaction should they run inside too much. Hmm, what's the best way to activate this pod? That's going to be my question. Uh, obviously, we can burn the rocket launcher early. question is, is that really what I want to do? Um, if I got you up here, we might be able to uh, give a start with a flamethrower if we're close enough. The question is, would I be close enough? And I do not know. Because we got uh, you right here, and yeah, you can't move or... Oh, you, it's saying you can get out of this sticky situation by moving back without activating. Um, 
we also have your claymore available and that just may be what we do to activate Park it right in the middle so you can also see it with your shot and stay so prey will fall. in hiding. And we will not put any uh, overwatch out there. We'll react with our own movements to be able to finish off the pod. As expected, we took care of both, and he didn't even move at all. So let's give you the opening salvo here, Nikolai. If you can lock him down with your crazy eyes, we'll just do a nice basic shot and see if we can't finish off our first pot. Okay, we are revealed, so we're going to have to lead the way with Shinobi and Reaper at the moment, just to make sure we don't wander into anything uh, too surprising. So let's see, which way do we want to look? I think we'll kind of stick to the side as we move forward here. Let's bring you up here a little bit, Gordy. See if we can't work our way forward. We got an opening over here to get vision. I think we'll just park you right in here to see what we see. Got it. To figure out how we need to bring everybody else forward. And so far it seems clear. So we may do some dashing on our part to get some support up there. Keith. Moving out. And where do we want you, Reginald Barkley? It'd be nicer if you had higher mobility, but we'll do that. Way. Q, let's bring you up. Destiny. Pretty much just bringing everybody go, go, go. forward for support at this point, just so we don't have too many stragglers left behind. On the move. We gotta move semi fast because for network shutdown, uh, we really don't have a big timer on this one. Let's see, we are not that far away now, so we're probably going to start coming into extreme, uh, much, much more contact here pretty quickly. Um, I might, well, let's get our, let's get Gordy over there to start uh, scouting things out a little more. Um, we got a door, no, we don't have a doorway here, but you can get through this opening. So, uh... Let's kind of do it a little bit at a time since all of a sudden we're fairly close. I'm kind of wondering, I'm kind of wondering about bringing you out this way more to get a peek around here, but let's, 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 let's kind of look down this way by moving here first. find out if we're clear down this way because I may want to set someone up high up here looks like a nice potential sniper perch we'll see I want to make sure the way is clear though okay. uh, and it is not what is that so we got our work cut out for us in this direction to maybe clear the approach on this side an advanced purifier so let's see, we're exposed, so we can't come down too close. On my we can way. sure set up some overwatch should they wander our eyes, way. Oh, and we are exposed. Earlier than expected. We got a grenadier down there, we got a pair down there. Now I can bring up for any, oh, the, this is, my suppressor, where, 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 oh, where? Oh, I put you way up here, just in case I need some suppression help. 
Can you get to a position that might help me out? That is the question, only where you can see one of them. Hmm. Well, we definitely have the ability to uh, potentially maybe blow away some cover here on the Guardian in the front. Then we got a very well hidden grenadier in the back. So let's stew on this one just a little bit more. Reginald Barkley. You have, it's only 37%. Do we have any other potential help? Well, we definitely have some gremlin help here. I think what we are going to do is try to go with some cover destruction right here. Then see what we can come up grenade. with against the Grenadier. And so much for cover destruction. We may do a little walk fire just to try and up the odds in taking out the Guardian. Oh, now we've got a Grenadier to focus on. Tough little challenge here. So we can't see from this point. We can see from this point, but we don't have cover from that point. keep you behind cover and have a line of sight to the Grenadier potentially. Not that I think it's going to be an amazingly great shot. 56 is better than I expected though. So let's see who else we can get into position to help us out. Um, sniper Nikolai, we can't get your crazy eyes close enough unfortunately. So we're going to get you hopefully in position for yeah, next amigo. time. Now, we have to try to not get too bunched up in this instance. What's over there? We at least have the ability for suppression. Should we need it, or if we get lucky for damage, we have the ability of flush. And we also then, um, if we can make sure you're in sight. Of course, you're, you're a little far back, but it might be close enough as far as gremlin usage goes. But yeah, not, oh, haywire. Oh, but you don't have combat protocol yet. You're so new and a rookie. I'm thinking in the back of my mind, combat protocol, combat protocol, but you're such a new rookie. <laughs> I'm not used to dealing with this level of rookie. So um, we, we all at least do, if we feel the need, have some aid protocol available. Uh, question is, if we suppress, will it shorten up his ability to launch a grenade far enough? That is the big question, I think, ahead of us. Let's get on to anyone else we might have left. And it looks like it's just us few back here. i got to figure out where I want to bring Q. And I may just push Q ahead to here just to have a better position for next time and be kind of spread out. Because there is that pod back here that could activate, and we've got to be ready and aware of that. Um, Destiny, I'm not sure the best Moving to designated possible location for you. Do I have anybody at this point? You know, if I'm going to do suppression, 
figuring we'll be okay against Grenegar. We're gonna start out with a shot from uh, Stiletto right here and see if we can't get lucky with a coin flip hit. Hit? Did we get a graze? What was it? And he stays hidden. Yeah, okay, we wore him down a little bit. Not enough for a flush. And uh, I'm not sure that I want to or need to do an aid protocol. It's a two turn cooldown. Who would I want to do it on? Who would he be most likely to pop something off against? Kind of thinking T-Bone is the closest, most tempting target. Let's just pop a little aid protocol over here just in case. And then we'll apply the suppression. Bring in the pain! And the other one is activating. There we go. Heavy Lancer. He's going to be a threat charging us. And an advanced purifier. I have no clue that. Now the heavy lancer, he sure did not do a lancer type move. He took cover way in the back instead of charging forward. And it's a purifier that charged forward, thinking he's going to use his flamethrower. That's what it would appear to be. Um, well, we got Shinobi power. Do we want to uh, expose him at this time with flesh? Now, if we go here and he's then exposed, the odds of perk popping someone out that way are going to be immense. Uh, then again, how close is the Heavy Lancer to being able to reach us? He is close enough on a, to potentially be able to reach us. We got the Advanced Purifier. And they are spread out for rocket potential, so that's not necessarily the greatest of options either. Um, if we bring you down here, Q, what does that look like? That's probably a fire resistant suit, so he's not the best one to flame throw. Uh, we could definitely use it this way, though, on the Grenadier. And that may be the best use well. for you. We did lose loot because of it. Say la vie. Now we may want to look at wearing down the purifier. One thing we have the ability to use. Whoops, let's back off and just make sure I have the range. And I do. Uh, so I get a free move on with rapid deployment for throwing a flashbang, my one lone support grenade. And that will definitely, because I don't really have, well, I do have a plan. I may not have to waste that. Let's take a look at you, Gordy, and see what your range is on flesh. And uh, can you make it down there without running through the flames? That's the question. Yeah, we can make it here without running through the flames. Now let's find out what kind of damage you would be able to do. And potentially you could take care of it right here and do it all. 10 to 14, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8. You should, with minimum damage, be able to do it unless he has some amazing dodge. Um, the only thing, as I said, we risk is you'll be exposed running through this opening and there may be another pod that we're going to have to act, we will activate. So I'm going to take this chance here to take out the Heavy Lancer. You are spotted. Doesn't look like we spotted anyone else. We got lucky through that opening over here. Sensors indicate wreckage. No, we did not there get lucky. And oh boy, did we expose a ton. Well, 
Well now, ladies and gentlemen, we got our work cut out for us, and you are mega exposed. Um, first thing I'm going to look at doing is we are going to leapfrog our own selves a little bit forward here. Heading out. And Reginald Barkley. I'm thinking here we want to bring you forward for potential Heading haze out. protocol, whether you're going to have... Oh, it's on cooldown anyway. So, uh, haywire protocol, we have that available against the drone, potentially. we got all sorts of options against the drone. Uh, first of all, problem is I'm afraid the scout has gotten a nice shot. Yep, we got the scout who's going to have a nice shot against Gordy standing wide open butt naked so uh, we'll find out what happens there the rest we have an option right here to take care hmm. let's take a look at this plasma grenade how far can it reach can it get through that opening but not to the potential or ability to take out anything over there Unless maybe I uh, blew a hole in the wall. But it's going to also, on the flip side, expose us to more return fire from enemies on that side. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to see if we can blow a hole in the wall to maybe work on the scout. Because his aim does not thrill me. have a line of sight up and about this direction we're gonna try blowing a hole in the wall here and see if that's a possibility for us Boom! now what options do we have left Nikolai, what is your vision and who do you have sight on? Apparently we did not blow a hole in the wall. So we took out some damage over here, but we don't have a hole in the wall to see anybody we were hoping to be able to see. Let's see if you can do some damage for us, Nikolai. This is a tough one. This is one of the hunter drones, so we're going to need some hits on this one. Correct. Uh, that was not what I wanted. Your, your eyes went crazy on us is what happened. We'll try a little haywire. You're not Taking high level control. as far as hacking, but we're going to give it a shot. Fifty whooping five percent. Let's uh, get the hack going and let's fail the hack. Okay, I see how this is going. It's too well shielded. It's too well shielded. Yes, yes, yes. Keith Merle. Keith, 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 Keith Merle. Who do you have sight on? Oh, you have sight. Through this side, you have some sight of you naming the enemy. You have sight on them. Holy smokes. So uh, we must uh, apply some area suppression. Oh, you can even see an officer that has line of sight on you. Oofy, 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 and advanced. <laughs> ah! Oh, we got ourselves in a big old mess, but we're going to lay some area suppression right here on the Naha. Suppressing target. We got to do a number at some point against... against the purifier. Now it looks like this is how we're gonna have to do some big damage on him. Maybe. 
Down to one freaking pick. So, do I have anybody left to try and get me a graze? And it looks like you are it right here. If we can manage, and that would that would that we we can manage from there. But then you're, you're going to get exposed to do it. But by taking that shot to get the graze, you're going to become exposed anyway. We are known to them. 72. We got to get a graze on this one. Now here's where we're exposed to big time damage. Oof! Here we go. This is what I'm worried about. The scout is shooting back at us, but he didn't. Why are we? He, I guess he. Oh, there's. Because that's who's going against you. But you protected yourself with Blade Storm. I, 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 I don't think I have uh, the ability to hang on to this. We are getting fortunate surviving against these hits here. And. and <laughs> <laughs> and the sectoid moved into the flame and double moved. And what <laughs> a turn where I expected far worse has turned out to not be as bad as I expected. We got a definite issue here and problem with the advent officer. That is a big one. We have our shinobi available and could probably do a number on the scout. Where can you flesh from? From. And if we did that, you probably wouldn't have enough range. Wow, 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 wow. I am shocked that we are surviving the way we did. Um, how about we do a little dead eye on the sectoid? What are we thinking here? Then again, how much am I afraid of the sectoid? There's the next question, right? Now you are marked destiny. That's not a good thing. It would be nice to be able to take out the officer, but a lot of us are extended and not in great range. But we do have the ability to start weakening down the officer, and I think we need to take advantage of that. Probably won't do the full five damage, not with the cover that he has. Hmm. So maybe what we do is we do the rapid deployment. We launch the flashbang. Who would I most likely pick up? I'm not as afraid of the... <laughs> not as afraid of the... I know we have a spot in here. But only I could have sworn I saw a spot that got both, but I must be dreaming. Now nah, it looks like it's one or the other. One or the other. Uh, I'm more interested in dulling up the advanced officer. Grenade! Firepower can we get over here? We can actually do a little bit of weakening on both. Uh, that's probably the best option we have with the grenade with you, T Bone. Fire in the hole. Yeah, we did just the two damage there. That's kind of what I expected. Um, definitely need to reload you, Keith. Ready to go. And we may just be doing some more area suppression. We may just be doing it. 
Where do we have flesh available? Can we stay behind cover to attack? No, we can expose ourselves drastically. And we would not have cover available if we went there. So, flesh is not seeming like it's a great option. Unless we try the Reaper ability and take him out and then have the movement action afterwards. See, we got a new perk. I gotta get, uh, gotta get thinking and gotta get used to uh, using it. Understood, Commander. We're on our way. Let's give it a shot. Right here. No, that's not where we wanted to go. Took that out, and we should still have. Okay, we still have movement left. Question being, I guess we're gonna need to move out of the line of sight, or at least into some nice cover. So let's do that. With that in mind, let's get back into full cover. Aye, sir. We're exposed to poison from the Naha, but so be it. Now, what are some firing options we have here? We may need to just go, we'll just take a look at going against the sectoid, I'm thinking. Nikolai, let's get you back in the game and let's see if we can't. Actually, if we have 65 on both, the, the Naha scares me most. Let's uh, put your energies and your focus there and see if you can't eliminate a threat for us right here. We need those eyes to go crazy again. But it worked! <laughs> You're back on track, Nikolai. You are back on track. Let's see what we have. We have double two shots. Two shots here. Let's take them against the sectoid. Two at 65. Good odds to potentially hit on one. Uh, I said good odds to potentially hit on one, so the second one better be the one we hit on. Oh Lord, you're killing me, Broccoli. You're like a limp piece of broccoli. Oh no, you did get a hit. <laughs> Sorry for offending you. <laughs> I think what we'll do is we'll see if the Reaper can't finish him off. He looks like he got more than that. We got one active and it's a dangerous advent trooper. But if I get you up here, are you in range to do any kind of damage for us here, Q? Not with the flamethrower. But, since we're probably near the end of the active amount, reinforcements coming, this, this might be one of those appropriate ways to uh, waste a rocket, but I think I will hold off. We will try the flashbang here. True, I borrowed this from your stodgy captain's mind. And we will try a little suppression here. Copy that. Suppressing target. And I would like to break line of sight. Ideally, I would like to break line of sight temporarily with you, Destiny, just since you're targeted. And uh, keep you from being a casualty of this battle. Copy that. Let's see what they, let's see what they do. Let's see what he does. Miss with suppression and flashbang. Now we need to end this. We need to end this. I don't know that you're in range for a flesh, and you are. Um, is there any explosives I have that I want to see about using? We do have a frag grenade here, but not necessarily the one I would ideally like to use. We definitely could get closer and at the same time pick up some loot.
advanced stock. Uh, now might be a little time for some flame to weaken him down Ready substantially. To and we now are in the point of maybe being able to finish him off here in a, in a, in a moment. Let's see who has some shots to be able to make that happen. Uh, we got to reload with you. boy. We got to look at getting you, Nikolai. We got to look at getting you some. Well, we're not doing snapshot. Um, let's see. Let's just get you into a slightly different position, although in full Back cover. Dishnet. Destiny, does that give you a... Well, no, you're, you're not able to get over there for a flank shot. Not at all. So we'll hang on with you. Well, is he panicked over here? Is that what that is telling me? I didn't see a panic pop-up, but that kind of seems to indicate to me that he's dazed, panicked, whatever you want to call it. Um, let's get in here, try a little flush. See if we can get him to uh, better cover for us. 20%, is that it? What are you talking about? 20%, is this cover that good? Let's try from over here. I may just have to throw that little grenade okay, of yours, I'll Keith. Twenty-two percent. No, we may just have to throw the grenade over here and try and just clean surprise. it up this way. Now we're going to have to hustle uh, because I haven't thrown the evac, and we're going to have reinforcements to deal with here very quickly. So let's get an evac thrown right here. Four-turn evac. So we're definitely going to see some friend. reinforcements evac before then. Confirmed. Hold tight. Let's get in here and start preparing ourselves for that. Let's get everybody. So we, we were in an, an ugly, tight situation, and we seem to have pulled ourselves from the depths. Uh, lucky with a couple weird moves. One by the uh, sectoid moving into flames on the, and doing a double move instead of doing something against us. We got fortunate that the... Uh, Suppression kind of dulled the marking of the admin officer, and uh, our our specialists survived. Our our low level, not a lot of damage available specialists survived. So let's get we're going to get everybody hustling because reinforcements are imminent to get no up need to, ask twice. to where we can defend. Um, Reaper, let's get you right here, Stiletto. Let's not forget this loot right here, as I am prone to forget. Uh, it's just a basic suppressor too. Uh, we're gonna start running everybody up here to get ready for some defense on those reinforcements that will be coming soon and we definitely want to get you as our specialist close enough to hack that computer. Destiny, you Got need some experience. Let's see, who else have we got left? Reginald Barkley, how close can we get you? No! Yes! I mean, maybe. And this is all we got left, so we will just... What the heck, Overwatch. It could explode at any time! Too close to the heat! Now the rein... Ah, there we go. The reinforcements. I was about to say the reinforcements went green, but no. They're red, so we got to get ready for the drop-ins now. We have got to get ready for the drop-ins. Uh, let's see if we can get you within range of hacking. Not white from any of these positions as far as I can see. Well, let's take a look here. Where can... Okay, we can see it from here. So, On Destiny, let's get you over here. Have you do your job so we can complete this mission. Bypassing security. All right, we'll just go since you're kind of low level. We'll just go for the low level thing, and that's a minor cache of enemy intel. We could use some more intel right now, anyway. Cross your fingers. Let's get. Oh, Lord, is your hacks horrible? <laughs> we got to get you improved on those hacking skills. I'll give it a shot. 
We've confirmed successful acquisition of the advent files. Now we gotta Eliminate set up some overwatch is what we gotta area. do. For these guys coming into our midst, we've gotta be ready for them, setting up overwatch. See if we can do some damage as they come down. Hopefully they come down in an area where we can do a plenty of damage. We'll find out. Uh, who else do we want to get moving into the action? And Nikolai, you are way remote, so you won't be on any kind of overwatch, but at least get to close to everybody else so you're not strung out. And Keith, you look like the last one back here that we got to get into the group, and then we can start setting. I'm, uh, yeah, we'll just put you here on a. Uh, I'm trusting you here. Got it covered. Aye, sir. You have nothing to worry about, sir. Reapers are always featured. You're still thinking like Overwatch. a human. Let's see where they come in. Way back there, right where we ran away from. So they're going to be able to take some cover. Oh, And our it's still moving. wimpy little Overwatch did not do too well, did it? They're way back there, so maybe we have to look at breaking line of sight, although I don't like the idea of a grenadier on the loose out there. But they're pretty far back. Let's see. Let's get the, this perspective looking back on them this way. See how we can maybe uh, get ourselves positioned. If we get you back here, Nikolai, that gets you some nice full cover. In fact, we'll bring you even farther back if we can. Nah. Oh, this is full cover that they that would leave you with some shots and it gets you out of the action for their move because we're, we're, we're going to do the yeah, break, yeah. the line of sight kind of action and set ourselves if possible on overwatch uh, for those that don't have to double move to get out of harm's way Roger that. and have them approach us is what I'm thinking it's definitely what I'm thinking um, you're a little on the weak side so I may yeah I don't want to keep you in half cover that's for sure so Destiny, just to help protect you and your non-high level hit points, we're going to bring you back here. You can always do aid protocol next turn if we don't manage to get rid of them. Running! Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I guess we're just going to keep you right there overwatching. Actually, what we're going to do is bring you into shadow so we can keep an eye on these guys after we break the line of sight. Darkness is my domain. Let's get you up here. They aren't going to run that far to be able to flank you and see you, so let's get you in shadow you up order, here Commander. so we can keep our eyes on them. Yeah, they're pretty far back. We want to keep tabs on them. Um, I'm kind of thinking with you, Gordy, I am tempted to bring you here. So that we have a path for as they advance. Now let's break line of sight. Um, we do have a rocket available, isn't that interesting? We still never ended up using our rocket. I almost thought about it early on, but we, we were able to save it for use now. Um, depending on how they move forward, we may have flesh available. It's too bad that's not hidden full cover. We it, It's been blown open. Um, so I kind of want to keep you, my shinobi, close enough right here I'm looking I'm looking for ways to keep my shinobi hidden but close enough so we don't ex get exposed to fire um, well we're gonna try this spot here it's full cover and who else do we got to get positioned right here we need this 
We need you positioned right here. Should we get you in full cover on this side, maybe? Why don't we? We can overwatch you from here. Yes, sir. We'll put you on overwatch. One more close. Overwatch. Safe. And Tommy. Or Trevor, excuse me. We have rapid deployment available, but no explosives to use for it. So we need just to park you. It'd be nice to find you a nice full cover overwatch spot, but they don't seem to be in great supply. So we'll just park you right here. Not a problem. I don't know Scatting. if they'll advance that far for you to even be able to overwatch. Now's the best we can do. There we go. Let's see if we made the right move. So much for our Overwatch skills. Can you see me? We've been fortunate so far. Knock wood, knock wood, knock wood. Double move on the sergeant and the grenadier, the one that scares me. Double move. Okay, okay, okay. Now we got some options ahead of us. First of all, we're going to reload with you, Reginald Barkley, and see what you can do from your position. Maybe, maybe, maybe you can help us out with a little walk fire. This seems to be the best odds to get this guy lone, lone trooper as he is over here. Let's give it a shot. I found confidence. I never knew it was there. What options do we have? Yeah, my rocket is not lined up super well. It does not appear. But what I probably will try, perhaps. If I brought you right here, what kind of scatter and whatnot will you have on that rocket? Even if it doesn't, even if it scatters and doesn't kill, would we be able to blow away some cover? I don't like that grenadier enough that I'm gonna get you moving up. Unfortunately, double move, so there's no Overwatch. Let's see what kind of range and scatter we got to deal with here. If I center it right there, two scatter, I think that's safe enough. It'd be so much easier to show you than to tell you. And we got one left alive. And that is the Advent Sergeant. Well, let's see if we need it as backup. If can we reach with flesh? No, we cannot. So we definitely, although we do have command, if we need to take another shot with somebody. Reaper, let's see if you can get the Grays to finish him off so we can focus on evacuating. Way to go, Stiletto. Oh! <laughs> no ammunition! And you're not revealed. Who cares? We're getting out of here. Uh, evac request should be here in one turn. We should be able to beat out the reinforcements. So now I just got to make sure. Um, let's just steady you just in case. Everybody else should be in range of the evac zone. Scanning. And we should be able to get out of here cleanly out. at this point. Ready to engage. On overwatch. The fire is growing. This is firebrand. Time to go. Yeah, this is Firebrand. Let's get the hay out of here. I'm walking. I will go. Crazy Where eyes right, right in the center of the evac. Let's see. You can make it right here. Roger that. Absolutely. And somehow, 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 when all hope <laughs> when it seemed against us. So. Call it the RNG luck gods, whatever. We survived the mission, not necessarily with stellar play, with but with some cojones. <laughs> what have we got? We got our eight in there? Yes, we do. Let's get ourselves evacuated. Com operatives are secure. Firebrand is returning to base.
A lot of us haven't seen one of those in a while. We come back without a tick, even though we got shot at way more than I would have preferred. Um, we got one here. Is that you, Nikolai? I think in the back. We're gonna take take you from shooting so we can get a nice face pick out there. So let's uh, edit soldiers. Nikolai, Nikolai, Nikolai. Let's get off of seek and destroy. I, I don't like seek and destroy for the simple reason. There, there's a tough guy pose for you. There we go. Kill them all. Let the elders sort them out. Alrighty, we did it. Advent officials revealed today's maneuver by local peacekeepers was a planned exercise. Citizens should not be alarmed. All weapon fire and wounds were simulated to better train Advent forces. Alrighty, Operation Winter Hand, a success. Kind of see how we did, who were the best one. Most under fire was Stiletto, he took a lot of shots. However, he also dealt a lot of shots back. He made the most attacks. Gordy LaForge, uh, with his flesh, dealt the most damage. even one reaper left standing you can bet they're still in the fight finger on the trigger <laughs> there we go stiletto himself got that promotion too and atiko we're starting to get her promoted up so she can be of more use down the road so uh, good job there oh we got a third promotion uh, keith it's been a little while it seems for your for you to get a promotion so congratulations welcome to the promotion group Good job, and we got our loot. Didn't leave it behind this time for a change. Um, I think we'll hang on. We got some decent intel again, so we'll be able to start looking at expanding. So when we need to, we can go against, if we need to attack the... Well, I don't even get, get to open the map and we got a new target. Eight days, sabotage a monument, very light and where is this Eastern Europe we haven't done anything over there yet um, I'm gonna ignore real quick just so I can see what levels uh, we're looking at because I'm trying to figure out why Operation Dawn Witch is very light instead of extremely light but let's get over here and the deceitful traitors who have left the surface of the elders are known to reside nearby you would do well to distance yourself from these feckless creatures. Yeah, well, if we do end up going over here, it's in Warlock territory. I definitely would send... So it's only Strength 3, Vigilance 2, Force Level 10. I don't know why the mission with that kind of timer is only light, but we might be getting to that point in the game where it's just going to get harder and harder to find those extremely light... Excuse me, extremely light mission, missions. And then, yeah, we we have the ability to contact here whenever we need to go. Excuse me, whenever we need to go against the black site to help us out with the Avatar project. The best thing, and I don't want to lose sight of, by completing that last mission, we prevented the dark event that would have advanced quicker the Avatar project. So I'm pleased with that. Let's get in here. We're going to put together a team to take out. And then I think we have another mission about ready. Yeah, Foxtrot down there in New Brazil. So let's go pick a team for this one. I want to do it. And we're going to bring Stiletto since he is one of the weaknesses of the Warlock. So we're going to get him out on this mission Setting too. course for Eastern European Ward. Now that Stiletto Commander is freed Tygen up. and Shen aren't going to be happy if we don't put the Skulljack to good use. Oh, I wish there was a way we to mute you on this one. I know about the deployed. Skulljack. <laughs> so hang on, I'm going to come right back with the team I'm going to pick out for this mission. All right, we are back, and as promised, Stiletto's going back out into Warlock territory. We'll try to keep that in mind and keep him freed up for only missions on this side. 
kind of give us a counter to the Warlock, who's been, so far at least, our toughest adversary as far as the Chosen go. Um, for some reason, it's not always the case, but in this playthrough, the Warlock is being tough on us. Um, we have Nikolai Carpathia, the crazy eyes, started working again, so we're bringing him back out as our sharpshooter. We have the buddy-buddy team of Reginald Barkley and Gordy LaForge along as our ranger and shinobi. Uh, we have a little suppression abilities. Keith did a good job with that last time, so he is along as our gunner to be our caretaker. And finally, we brought a little firepower along with Q. So not quite as large of a team as last time, but a very effective team, I believe, and I think it should be more than enough to handle this very light mission. Let's get out there. Sky Ranger deploy. Menace, ready to deploy. Alrighty then, now let's pop back while we're waiting for this last mission to tell me we don't have any more time. How much do we have? 17 hours? Yeah, we may not be able to get back to these powerful Avenger, fluctuations, but we're going to try to finish them off and then head out on our next mission. Strategic resource located. <laughs> Here we go. Brand new target. Where is it? New Brazil. Oh, no. Extremely light. Oh, one day, 23 hours. We will have to call a pass on this one. It's a start liberating the chain. Start the liberation chain. Recover an item from the vault. But gosh dang it, for one hour, 20, one day, 23 hours, we're just going to have to pass on that. And we got our intel. There we go. Um, let's head on down and see what we're looking like again on this mission. We are extremely light. Well, we're ready to do it. We're going to go for another scientist and intel package. Uh, quick peek at the squad going out on this one. It's a strong one for such a, an extremely light. Who knows why I decided. Maybe some of the weaponry isn't all that great, but no, we, we at least have lasers on everybody. Well, not s in a regular gauntlet. So maybe I decided this was best with uh, this team just because... We didn't have the most upgrades. Who knows? Who knows? Who can remember? Yeah, <laughs> I'd have to go back, watch, and look and see why I decided to go out with so many. But we have Benjamin Mystic Anwar as our Templar. Worf is along as a technical. Sebastian Professor Jeske is the leader, commanding officer for this mission as our Shinobi. Jeffrey Warrior Drag haven't, hasn't got a lot of action recently, but he's getting out there again. Jojo Rabbit Betzler, our assault. Enrico Caruso, the Ranger, and Cyrano Charles de Gaulle is our gunner. That may be, because a couple of these are some lower level troops, that may be why I decided to go with a, a few extras in quantity uh, for an extremely light mission. So hopefully we'll get some uh, experience on this one and join me next time. And uh, this is Zig Zag Zag signing off from Western Kentucky. Please subscribe. Please hit that like button. If you made it this far to hear me ask for that, you might as well go ahead and do it. And for those of you viewing from Argentina, thank you so much and ciao.